Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to David Michael Dunbar's April Piano Recital, accompanied by Edward Grieber. On our program today is Robert Schumann's Piano Concerto in A Minor, Opus 54, composed over four years from 1841 to 1845. Robert Schumann composed this concerto for his wife, Clara Schumann. The work originated in May of 1841 as a fantasy in A minor for piano and orchestra. In 1845, Schumann added two movements to the fantasy. Clara Schumann wrote in her diary, the fantasy has now become a concerto that I mean to play next winter I am very glad about it, for I have always wanted a great bravura piece by him. The following month, Clara enthused, I am happy as a king at the thought of playing it with orchestra. Clara Schumann was the soloist in the concerto's premiere, December 4th, 1845. The concerto is in three movements. The final two played without pause. The first movement is Allegro Affetuoso and opens in dramatic fashion with a forte orchestral chord, immediately followed by an emphatic descending passage for the soloist. The second movement, Intermezzo Andantino Grazioso, is in A-B-A -A form. The soloist dialogue with the orchestra presents the opening theme, derived from the ascending portion of the principal melody of the first movement. The cellos launch the more rhapsodic B section. In the last movement, Allegro Vivace, the soloist introduces the principal theme, again related to the principal melody of the opening movement. The finale concludes with an expansive coda in which the soloist takes center stage, closing with consummate virtuosity. Here to play Schumann's Piano Concerto in A minor is David Michael Dunbar, accompanied by Edward Grieber.
That was wonderful, David. Thank you to all those of you who joined us. Thank you for listening. And please join us again for David Michael Dunbar's next recital.